what is up guys and welcome back to the hand tight racing youtube channel uh today we are going to be working on tyler's car the white s550 um and boundary uh was nice enough to supply us with their black series oil pump gears and if you know anything about coyotes um you know that's their weak point so before we keep driving this thing on factory oil pump gears, um, we're going to go ahead and get those installed. Um, this is the week before Sebring, the fun day. Um, so we're hoping to get that done and some other stuff done. We want to replace the drive shaft. Uh, we think the carrier bearing is going bad in it, but we just had to uh, pull my drive shaft out when we did the T56 swap on my car. So we're just going to use my old drive shaft on his car because they're the same year, same trans, same everything. Um, so I gave him my drive shaft. We're going to try and put that in, try to get the diff welded. I don't know if that's going to happen, um, but we really want it to happen. Um, and then a few other little things that I can't really remember right now. Oh, the FDF rear arms, um, probably nothing bolt check. Just get it ready for Sebring basically. Um, but the big the big part of that is these oil pump gears. We need those, um, and you need them if you have a Coyote that you're planning on doing any motorsports with, because uh, the last time we did these on my car, about, I don't know, two and a half, maybe three years ago at this point, um, we did the drop test. It's our very first video on the channel, uh, and they broke after like the second drop. So that let us know that we definitely needed to do it on this car and we're gonna get it done and boundary has the best pump gears in the game um they're ogs they've been around for a long time everybody that uses these has good experiences oh and they even provided some assembly lube hmm. didn't have that in the one that i got so they're stepping their game up clearly so billet crankshaft sprocket billet oil pump gears martin wear treated that's why they got that cool color to them they look awesome packaged very nicely with some assembly lube in there to keep them from uh, building up any corrosion I would assume I don't know the science behind it I just replace I'm just a parts replacer so don't ask me but uh yeah it's a beautiful day out here in Florida it's about nine o'clock it's already crazy hot and humid so I'm gonna get that big fan going um, then get this thing up in the air and uh, we're gonna get right to it basically so we're just gonna piddle around let the car cool off because i did drive it over here um and wait for the other guys to get here tyler's bringing a bacon egg and cheese bagel for mcdonald's with extra breakfast sauce if you don't know about that you need to know um so get that the very next morning after you see this video it's delicious so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna start getting all the plastic off uh just taking stuff off working my way down to the pump gears um, then we got to get this thing all the way up in the air, drain the oil, drain the coolant. Um, and then we'll be ready to start tearing the front of this motor apart. We got to get the valve covers off. Uh, this intake obviously have to, has to come off. So the strut tower brace is going to have to come off. This one's a little more in depth than mine was because, uh, we just, we removed a bunch of stuff in my car and then we, yeah, we'll be tearing off the front timing cover and, uh, doing them gears man so uh let's see let's see how this goes got the ds fronts with the br rears first time we ever tried it on one of these cars so it works good though we know that start anything like this anything this in depth um make sure you disconnect the battery it's very pivotal um so i'm gonna go ahead and do that now and then we'll get back to pulling the rest of this stuff apart And 
definitely want to be sure and not do what I just did. Uh, I got ahead of myself and pulled the coolant line off the expansion tank and it's pressurized. So it just shot out the back, sprayed the intake, went all over yeah. the place. So we're going to drain the coolant now. Got it up in the air. And then this is how we usually do it. This little guy right here. Um, and then I'll probably just pull the lower radiator hose off just to make sure uh, that it's completely drained and whatnot. But yeah, don't do that. So now I have a mess here. As stated, homie came through with the Mac Diddy's. Let me see that thing. What you got in there? Got, got the Ford deal. shirt on, repping the gang. Sheesh. Yep, so that's how you get it right there. That's how you get it right there. I'm about to smash y'all. All right, breakfast is done. We're gonna get back on it, see if we can knock this thing out before 6 p.m. That's eight hours from this time right now, because it's 10 o'clock. So I'm hoping we can, but probably not. bit of the cooling out not as much as i wanted but we're gonna drain the oil into a new pan because you know here at anti-racing we do shit like that and we're gonna reuse this oil it's only got one event on it and it's a hundred dollars worth of oil so we bought a new drain pan and we're just gonna reuse it Got the radiator out, got the fans out. Tyler just took some pictures just for reference if we needed them, because there's a lot of stuff here. Um, that's especially not on my car, because my car was converted to E85 before I got it. So I've never really worked on a factory-ish S550. I'm realizing that. So this is what we have going on right now. Got a nice little pool of coolant down there. Someone can't hold the damn bucket straight. <laughs> So we're gonna get all this stuff off, all the coolant stuff, all the coolant lines. Get that off of there, uncover the uh, timing cover, and then probably pull the valve covers after that. And then we'll pull the timing cover, I think. Say good helps hard to find but i found him <laughs> he's here i'm here and we're uh yeah i think we're officially yeah we're probably like i don't know i think those are the timing covers are 13 bolts if i remember correctly i believe so but we got to get the alternator off first get the harmonic balance pulley off first 
Yeah, so we're about 15 to 20 bolts from being balls deep in this thing. I mean, I guess depending on how far you've been in some stuff, this could be balls deep. But this ain't shit. Yeah, this ain't really shit. Once we get the timing cover off, that's when the party starts. And these cams start flipping around and stuff and all kinds of stuff. We got to get the spark plugs out too. So we can turn this fucking thing. So after a three round fight, the water pump lost and it's out. We made a mess though. Yeah, we did that. But it is time to pull all the timing cover bolts and get to the chains. So we're gonna get this thing. I'm gonna do the bottom bolts first since it's already in the air. And then we'll drop it down and start working on the top. So hands down the hardest part of doing all this, in my opinion, is the oil pickup tube bolt that's on the bottom side of the oil pickup tube. Let me show you where that's So at. it's on the right side of this pump housing right there. I guess you can't see my finger, but yeah, that thing is a pain with the oil pan still on. And in order to get the oil pan off, you gotta do a bunch of other stuff. So I just fish it out of there which sucks, but it's done. So the oil pump is ready to come off the car. And then we will be installing our boundary oil pump gears. Martin, we're treated. Looking good. So uh, we're about, what would you guys say? About halfway, I guess, technically. 47%. 47, that's, a, that's valid. I guess, I guess we can't be 50 until the pump is ready to go back in. Cause that's as deep as we gotta go. So yeah. That's pretty accurate. I'd say 47 is good. Yeah. How you feeling about this? Feeling good. Feeling I've good. done fingered your girl twice today. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> Get our old gears out and start assembling our new gears. I recommend you do this on a towel, uh, just so there's no dirt or anything like that. This is a P30 Fortress. You can also buy this housing from Boundary and bill it if you wanted to. But we didn't do that on my car, so we're not going to do it on this one. You can't have better stuff than me. <laughs> That's messed up. Yeah, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? And boom. There is your OEM oil pump gears. How funny would it be if we found out the oil pump gears were already done? in this car. Honestly, that'd be hilarious. It would be fun as fuck. I think these look OEM though. Not 100% certain on that. You can see some scarring there. And then this is usually the one that breaks when they go. Come on. Baby. Yeah, these are OEM. So when we did mine, we did the drop test. And I think we should do that again because it's really fun. <laughs> well, that and yours shattered like second drop. I kind of like threw that. it. I kind of threw it. Nah, yeah, that's I true. will say this one usually doesn't break. This is the one that breaks because you can see the thin walls here. That's usually the the difference. Kill it. All right, so we're gonna do the drop test on these OEM gears. I think I'm saying three drops before it's broken. So let's see. <laughs> oh, that uh, one sounded like she gone. Oh, we got a fracture. We got a fracture. 
I don't know if you guys can see it on the camera, but there's a fracture there. You see it? Oh, that. Yeah, see you can it? see it. Oh, 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 there it is. There it is. Yep. So just so that, just gonna, that quick. We're going to drop test the, the boundary ones real quick? Yeah, no. <laughs> we're not doing that. But th those won't break. I just don't want to damage them. <laughs> All right. So here's what your oil pump housing should look like after you've installed your boundary oil pump gears. Um, they provide assembly lube now they did not provide assembly lube i don't think they didn't provide assembly lube when we did mine we no, bought assembly lube we got this stuff. yeah we bought the lucas assembly lube but they provide that now uh, so you don't have to worry about that everything should be lubed up i'd use that entire container of assembly lube it's not going to hurt anything if you you can't put extra of it in there at least of the packet that they give you uh that's i think that's why they give it to you specifically so that you can't put too much assembly lube in it um we've already got the backing plate to the housing on and the pump gears in but this is basically what you should see after you've installed your uh, your pump gear. so it should look like that and your fingers if you're not wearing gloves should look like you fingered a smurf as uh alex would say he was like hey dave you look like you fingered a smurf and i was like yeah hey, no, you're kind of right murdered a smurf. Tyler said oh well it was one of these it was one of these two dirt bags <laughs> that said that but this is what it should look like after your uh boundary oil pump gears are you, and you can see the centerpiece slides so you can get it around the crank so i mean there's really not a wrong i don't think there's a wrong way to do it uh we just me and alex just kind of like put mine in there and it just worked we so. just do things and if it works it works if it don't it don't don't yeah. forget about this side up though oh yeah this oh side up. and then on the pump gears it says uh this side up and i don't know for sure i didn't look this up or anything but you can only install the pump gears uh one way like if you flip this around as you can see that's where the split is if it's like this you cannot put you cannot put the gears in so if it's flipped like this it says this side up this side up should face this way up when you're installing the gears so just note that not that hard this is i mean it's a lot of work to do but it's not that hard of a job it's not i mean setting the timing is pretty pretty pivotal actually i'm just i'm lying to these people it's it's in depth it sucks especially redoing the timing it sucks and make sure that you follow more specific gen 1 gen 2 gen 3 timing procedure you need the ford service manual in order to set the timing properly because they're not all the same it's the same motor it's the same block it's all it's it's kind of the same but there's different timing procedures for each generation and you need to know which one you have in order to do this job the proper way tell me where we're at Fucking, I'm ready to go home. Yeah, same. Tyler is not though, so we're gonna make him button this, button this up himself. <laughs> we're gonna go home. We'll see him when he gets there. Gonna go home, cook some dinner. Um, but timing covers back on. Everything should be. I mean, I mean should be. Um, should in be. time. Um, all we've really got left is to tighten down the timing cover, put the water pump back on. RTV the seams of the timing cover to the head right there. Then put the valve covers back on, put the spark plugs back in, connect the coils and the injectors. And cam phasers. Cam phasers. Put the alternator back on. Alternator back on. Crank pulley back on. Crank pulley. Yeah, you're, you're really making this hard for me to want to stay here. And then all <laughs> of the radiator <laughs> shit. So all the hoses, all the radiator. coolant system, but I mean, it's been like eight hours since we started this, and I mean, we built the shed in the process, though. and we built the shed in the process. <laughs> that's that's oh, yeah, this is true. That's that's real, that's real. We'll, we'll have that in there. Uh, but I mean, the timing is done. It's it, technically it could fire up right now. Probably right. It could, yeah, it's, maybe ish. <laughs> I don't know. I'm the one that set timing, so it might be off. It's probably fucked up. Probably. If I had to guess, it normally takes me two tries. <laughs> History will repeat itself. Can't always. Nah, it, right it, look, it look good. It look good. Back in the garage for day two. Um, we've been working at it for probably about an hour. Uh, we skipped out early yesterday because we were all pretty tired. Um, party hardy, you know. It takes a toll on you, you know, when you get older like us. So, we uh. We went home, 
Made some dinner. What do we have? Country fried steak? Country fried steak, homemade mashed potatoes, some scratch, and bacon, mac, and cheese. Yep. It was pretty delish. And then we had a breakfast tacos this morning. And then uh, we got our fuel in us. We're back out here. Uh, we've, we're we getting pretty close uh, to a fire up. we got to remember to put oil back in it. Maybe cool one. Yeah, maybe nah, cool it. We don't need that Actually, I mean, we already. technically don't need the coolant to start it up, <laughs> but we'll probably put it in anyways because I'm pretty confident that uh, it's going to work right the first time, I hope. So let me show you guys what we got uh, going on right now. So this side's already buttoned up for the most part other than its uh, PCV connection. And then we need to get the crankshaft pulley back on. They just finished doing the alternator. We need to do the water pump pulley. And then, yeah, that's pretty much it. And then the radiator and the fans connecting all this stuff for the expansion tank and the vacuums and the cold air intake. But we're pretty much there. So, pretty confident in this one. What about you, Alex? Pretty confident. Yeah? Yeah. What about you? Feeling good. Feeling good? I'm fire up. Uh, and by the way, he's not wearing the same clothes he was wearing yesterday. I mean, technically he is, but they were washed because he stayed at our house. Tyler's not dirty like that, so those are the, it's a it's a fresh fit. You know what I'm saying? Assuming we did everything right, this thing should start run. No check engine light. It's all back together. Oil in it. There's no coolant in it. Send it. Give her the old shitty. I think we done good. We done good. She's running good. I think we I think we're on. I think we're on the money with the timing. Sounds healthy. Let it run for a little bit until it starts to build some heat. And then uh, we'll shut it off and prime the cooling system. And I think we're gonna wrap this one up. And the entire team will be in Sebring next weekend. So we hope to see you guys there. Come out, hang out. We're going to be partying down in the Mustangs. Alex will be there. If you come find me, I might have something for you. Oh, wait a minute. Anyway, you slice it, we're done. <laughs> this is not coming back apart this week, if it is fucked up, but I, I think it's great. It's not like choppy or anything and running smooth. Oh, it's good. It's solid. That's going to be it for this one, guys. <laughs>